Hello Aquarius, welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level. What it is that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently. The deck that I'm using is the Goddess Oracle deck by Amy Sophia Marashinsky. And keep in mind that some of these cards you might feel um, that there are your feelings and emotions and that is possible. We do exchange energy. We can also pick up on the other person's energy. Um, plus, we can be mirroring them as well. All right. So this is a general love reading, so it's not going to resonate with everybody out there. The parts that do, definitely you can apply that, but this is the you know general collective, so the average that everybody is kind of going through. So if some of you have a very unique situation and you feel that this is not resonating with you, then at this time um, it didn't come through because it wasn't a message meant for you. If you want, you can always have a look at my website. I am I did open up personal readings once again in a very different kind of way, but uh, I am taking readings as well. All right. You can go to my website for that. Interesting. Wow, this person is so overwhelmed by your sexiness. Good God, Aquarius, what the hell? <laughs> Ooh, okay, you have here awakening followed by play, fear, crisis, centering, a laughter, crossroads, doubt, compassion. And under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme is sexuality. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Aquarius, I've had an awakening moment, an epiphany. I've started to realize certain things that I didn't see before and I didn't think in a certain way before, but now I am. I'm seeing things through your eyes. I'm feeling things the way you would feel them. And I realize that you are someone that I'd really like to get to know. Yes, I do feel that you are a very, very good friend. I like the company that I have. You make me laugh. You have this mischief, this youthfulness about you. It's very alluring. I like it. But I also feel that there is a lot of fear that has grown on the inside of me. As time has gone by, I've realized certain things that I've done that were not really good. I do feel that there is a sense of insecurity now. I've lost that confidence. I no longer feel the self-esteem that I used to. And there are feelings of unworthiness, paranoia, fear. I don't really know how to move on in this connection, although I would like to. But the fear of getting into this further is extremely overwhelming. This entire situation is very overwhelming for me. I do feel that there are so many feelings and emotions that are going through me that my mind is in a crisis. There's a lot of mental anguish, frustration and impatience. 
not being able to make a decision, not being able to sort out my feelings. I can only hope and wish that things would get better in the future. But for now, I'm very overwhelmed by certain feelings and emotions that I'm starting to feel for you. And the worst part is, I never really thought that that would happen. I have started to realize that in this connection there is a spiritual aspect as well. You are someone who really makes me feel centered. You make me feel centered. You make me feel that you and I have a better balance. I feel much more balanced spiritually than ever before now that you have come into my life. I also feel that in this connection there's this perfect harmony that we have. It's like I'm the moon and you are the sun. It's a never-ending cycle, very beautiful, very true, very promising. And again, I come to the realization that you are somebody who is a very, very good friend, somebody who is my confidant, somebody I can trust with my life, somebody who makes my heart happy. You know how to do that. Not a lot of people can. I do feel that in this connection, it's time for me to make a decision. Things have been lingering on for far too long, and I have not been able to make a decision for a very long time. I do feel that even if I make a move, even if I was to make a decision, I am actually afraid. What am I afraid of? I'm afraid because whatever decision I make, it might not be right, which is why I have doubts. I'm doubting that any type of decision I make at this crossroads, wherever I go, wherever I walk, wherever I end up, it might not be the best decision. This is something that I didn't see before, but now I'm starting to see it in this way. Now I see things very differently. And I feel compassion for you, for what I have put you through, and for what you are going through right now. I know you already had other issues, and on top of that, now you have to worry about this too. Overall, this connection was and has been very sexual in nature. And it's hard for me to not think about it in that way. Every time I have thought about you, it's been almost toxic because all I think about is your body. And I also feel now that it's important for me to make that decision on whether is this what I really want. Do I really want to be in a friends with benefits kind of connection, in a casual connection, in an in and out connection, or do I want something more serious? All right, Aquarius, this is huge. This is really a very difficult situation 
many of you might resonate with this. So what happened here is some of you who are ready to love, ready to be in a connection, you actually might have started off with a friends, friends with Benefits Connection. Now, what happened and what I've seen that happens usually in all of my readings, um, through my personal readings that I do for people, um, for my clients, I, I've seen this trend where two people will start off in a connection. Um, let's just, for example, say a man and a woman, okay? Or the masculine energy and the feminine energy. That could be a man and a man or a woman and a woman. So what happens is two people are together. Both of them initially think, hey, this is fun. This is casual. Let's be friends with benefits. Okay, and that's mutual. What happens is at one point, one of them catches feelings. Typically, this is the feminine energy. And what happens is the feminine energy keeps it inside, not exposing, not talking, not really disclosing the feelings that are growing on the inside. Meanwhile, the masculine energy, which is very logical and rational, who is somebody that sees black and white, but no gray. At that point in time when the mind is like that, when it's about lust and not love, that person only thinks about what they started off with and that's what they wanted and that's what they got and that's all they ever wanted. However, the feminine energy evolves and falls in love. That's what happened here. Many of you might not even know that. Many of you might have thought that, you know, it's mutual. I love this person and this person loves me. But truly, does that person love you? Do I see love here? Aquarius, I don't see love here. I'm sorry, I don't see love here. I see a person that thinks of you strictly as the biggest, best friend ever. And that's a whole lot of sexy. That's it. That's all I see right now. Of course, the other cards afterwards will explain more. But I wanted to really tell you about that. For me, in this deck, the play card and laughter card are friendship cards. The sexuality card is a lustful card. So when you have friendship and lust, that's a friends with benefits connection. So not everybody is going to resonate with this. But I can say, for the majority of you, this connection turned out to be more of a casual and unfortunately, somebody here felt quite used sexually. You may have felt manipulated sexually, used sexually, taken advantage of because you were just so irresistible. And keep that sexiness, Aquarius, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. It's important to be your best version of everything, okay? Don't give up on that. Don't start covering yourself up. Don't start dressing down. Don't do that. Be what you are. This is the way you are. You keep it that way. But the thing is, this person's impression of you was exactly what it was when they started. You changed. They didn't. And now both of you are on different levels. You see, you're not resonating the same as you used to back then. That's what the, that's what the whole issue is here. Okay. Let's have a look at, if I already didn't answer it, um, let's have a look at the Lover's Path Tarot. So this is any issues that may have occurred that caused a problem in the first place or certain issues that are still uh, causing an, like a problem between the both of you something that's causing a blockage okay this is here six of staffs okay Ooh, tradition there you go tradition exactly tradition talks about it all um so you have the six of staffs and tradition let's have a look at the six of staffs 
So this does talk about how this person feels that victory is elusive. They felt that they had done the work that needed to be done in this connection and that they deserved the honors. But they didn't do anything further than that and the rewards that they were thinking were going to come to them did not come. Perhaps because of a lack of awareness of those people around you and a lack of honor and a lack of courage. So this is what happened, Aquarius. This person thought that they had invested a lot of time, energy and effort in you. A lot of sexual stuff. A lot of lustful stuff. A lot of physical stuff. A lot of materialistic stuff. And they thought that they could get probably something else in return. Sex and maybe more. The problem is that didn't happen. And that started to discourage them. Now we also have here tradition. With tradition, this talks about the need to throw out old social structures that constrain a person and the fear and paranoia of unconventional ideas and ways of approaching them, non-conformity. So this person wanted to keep an open relationship with you, with the other person, with another person, with a whole bunch of people in different places, at different times, different locations. It's like a pit stop, literally. Um, this is an issue because tradition talks about with this particular person, it talks about how they thought that the connection that you had will be okay and it will be sufficient. And they actually thought that even if they are in a connection with you, they still want to try other people. Yes. And it goes against tradition. That's what they were doing. And they wanted tradition to be changed. And they wanted society to think that their way is the right way. But they were unable to do that, which is why there's a problem now, Aquarius. So this person really does think outside the box which is wonderful, but there's something called the heart. There's something called love, right? Unfortunately, this person doesn't have that, run, that, that feeling right now. They're not thinking on that level. They're very cut and dry. They're very much what it is that they want. They want something their way. And if they don't get it, they feel as if they've been defeated. It's really not the best type of person. It's like you thought you knew this person, but then it turns out that their emotions and feelings turned out to be quite different than what you expected. Very sad. Not, not good. You must have spent a lot of love and time, energy and effort. I mean, this person thinks you're a best friend, right? So you must have gone above and beyond to accommodate this person, to help this person. I'm getting two things. Financially, materialistically, you might have bought them furniture. You might have helped them with their bills or something like that. This is why they think that, yeah, my Aquarius is great. Okay, that's wonderful, but what's beyond that? <laughs> There's not a whole lot of best friends out there that are going to keep doing that, right? You can't just be that best friend on the side. It's, that's not how you are going to be happy. That's not how you can be happy. You can't be happy. Some people are happy in open relationships. Some people are okay doing, you know, something different in society. And for them, that's right. For them, that's okay. But if it's not okay for you, then you will not be happy in this type of connection because this person really thinks on a whole different level. And let me tell you, this person, their thought process is not going to get them anywhere good. It's going to be bad karma for them. All right. Let's have a look at, <clears throat> okay, well, I fell it fast. The Queen of Swords. They know they've hurt you. And they think that you are now a cold-hearted 
B-I-T-C-H. Very dangerous, not wanting to mess with you, not wanting to talk with you or talk to you. They really are not happy with what has happened. Good. They should feel that. We have here the Nine of Swords. Excellent. They cry themselves to sleep. Very happy to see that. They need to understand you're not dealing with machines here. You're dealing with hearts. Nine of Swords. This person is feeling guilty at night. They're feeling... Wow. They're feeling guilty. They're feeling... They're having psychic disturbances. They're having trouble sleeping. They're having anxiety. They're having stress. In all honesty, I don't wish anything bad for anybody. That's just wrong. But this person is starting to realize what they did was not right. It wasn't the right person, okay? You were not the right person where they should have done something like this. They shouldn't have done this to you. Somebody else could have been happy in that way, but they chose you. So let's have a look here. At the end of the day, they do want to take that leap of faith and try to come towards you. We have the fool card here. They have been acting like a fool. Somebody has been immature. They have not been as experienced when it comes to matters of the heart. So, yes, there's a desire to take a leap of faith this person wants to take, but this person's a fool. They're a fool. They're immature, they're inexperienced, they take action first, they think later. They're impulsive, compulsive, and aggressive maybe. They want things their way, they're a bit immature because they, they, they're um, uh, tantrums, tantrums. It's like they make a scene if something becomes even serious. Heaven forbid, we fall in love. Um, yeah, this person, not good. Aquarius... It's going to be difficult for you because this person's not really on your level. You emotionally and spiritually um, are quite mature. And this person really is not. This is not the type of person that can be in your life, you know, in this way. Um, I'm seeing numbers right now, 23. It's almost as if they would be good if they were with somebody who was 23 years old. Early 20s is a very unique age group. There's a lot of discovery. There's a lot of maturity. There's a lot of experience in various ways. Um, so this person literally can bond with somebody in that age group. But this person can't bond with somebody who's a bit more mature. And you can still be... 17, 18 years old and still mature emotionally. You could still be that. But this is the type of individual you're dealing with here. It's like, oh, you can't really teach a kid certain things. It's just not going to happen. This person is very set in their ways. They're also extremely burdened. You have the Ten of Wands here. Extremely burdened. They have a lot of responsibilities. They're very overwhelmed. They actually have other issues, other projects on the go. And they're trying to fit you into their schedule. They want to still have you. What I'm seeing right now is that is one of the main reasons why they can't be with you. Because they're very overwhelmed with other things. Which means that their time, energy, and effort is being spent elsewhere. And therefore they cannot spend that time, energy, and effort on you. Which makes sense why they only want to keep you as a friend. That makes sense. Because they couldn't give you that time. Right? It's because they have too many other things on the go. But their method was wrong, right? Their method was wrong. If somebody here felt, you know, love, somebody should have spoken up. And instead of ghosting somebody, you just tell them. But I do have clients that say, you know, he told me that he can't be with me or he doesn't love me. And my clients are like, but I don't believe him. <laughs> Um, he doesn't know it, but he does love me. Yes, it turns out that the person does love you, but they know that they can't give you what it is that you deserve. In a way, that's a good thing. That's a blessing for you because you're not going to get hurt in the long run, right? What if you're actually in a long-term committed connection and bloody hell on the day of the engagement or wedding day, 
the person chickens out, right? It's better to do things right beforehand, okay? Um, this person is overwhelmed by a lot of their own stuff. They have to deal with their stuff first, and then they will be able to change their life and maybe come around. We have here the Four of Swords as well. With the Four of Swords, it talks about how there has been heartache and pain in the past in this person's life. And so perhaps that's why, Aquarius, this person is not really opening up to you. They've had a bad, they have a bad sour flavor in their mouth. What is it called? I forgot. Bitter flavor in their mouth. Or there's some type of saying. I don't know if it's in English or in Hindi. Um, I don't know. But the a bad taste in your mouth. The situation created a bad taste in your mouth. Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> you can put that down in the comments below because I don't remember the saying. But it's basically, this person has had a bad experience with somebody else and they do not want to repeat that experience with you. This person is genuinely sad now. They're genuinely hurt. They genuinely are trying to heal and recuperate and think of what I have done. Why did I do it? How can I fix it? So they are trying to heal because they know that what they did was not right and they felt that there was a lot of the feelings of being artificial and superficial. Meanwhile, you were very genuine, but they were not. They know this. And so they're trying to keep their distance. You know, if you feel upset that this person's keeping their distance from you, this is why they're doing it because they know they hurt you. You're ready to chop chop somebody here. You're ready to, well this person, this is this person, they are crying, they are sad, they have anxiety, they have stress, they're very overwhelmed, even though a part of them wants to take a leap of faith, but they're very overwhelmed with other issues. And for this reason, they are resting. It's too much for a person to handle. You have taught them a karmic lesson in a way, actually, you have taught them humility, you have taught them that you can't just go around breaking people's hearts. <laughs> Billie Jean, <laughs> the, sound, the song. Um, okay, I got Michael Jackson's song in my head now. Billie Jean, beautiful song. Some of the words are applicable to this situation. The thing is that this person really has gone through a lot and they are ignoring you for that reason. They don't want to be with you right now because they actually cannot be with you right now. They are, like psychologically, they're totally overwhelmed. So they need to de-stress, which is exactly what the doctor ordered. That's exactly what they're doing. Not actually, maybe, maybe they have gone to a doctor, but maybe they haven't. But this is something that they thought that is best for them to try to keep themselves away and to try to see you know, how can they be a better person? What did they do? Why did they do it? And how can they heal from this? Healing also means that they have regret, that they feel that they have done something bad. And of course, there is guilt. So they are feeling guilty. So this is kind of, you know, there's no action here, Aquarius, but I do see that there's a whole lot of introspection. So there is action on the inside of this person's heart and mind. They are thinking that, oh my goodness, what did I do? I should not have done this. And so, therefore, in the future, I do see that there will be changes, but only after this person gets out of this kind of phase where they are completely overwhelmed, where they're sad, and where there is a whole lot of heartache. Okay. So, this reading has gone on longer than usual. It's okay. It's important to explain. All right. Just going to do a quick prayer. These messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, and Gabriel. This is Archangel's answer cards. All right. So while they're, they have this introspection, you also have your own kind of introspection. Sometimes it's important to just um, not think about the other person, which is very difficult, I know that. But it's important to reflect on yourself. 
we really ignore ourselves. We have so much. We have our spirit. We got our soul. We got our body. We got the etheric kind of aura. Like there's so much. Our electromagnetic field. There's so many things we can think about and try to work on. Oh, look at this. Work on yourself. Improving health. Mind, body, spirit, soul. Wow. Aquarius, this is very, very much um, focused on you. You really need to start focusing on yourself. You've been neglecting yourself. Many of you have been neglecting yourselves on many levels. If you believe, followed by a year from now. And then we have a peaceful resolution. Excellent. And then we have not the right time. Not right now. Of course it's not right now. This person's going through a lot. They're going through their own little hell world. So Aquarius, we have here, listen to your intuition, okay? Definitely listen to your intuition. Don't ignore it. Do what your gut tells you. That's your higher self speaking to you, which is your soul. Your soul is much more older and wiser than you are. You, your spirit, your body. Here we also have trust in the Christ consciousness. Through Christ, you can get to his father, Jehovah. His name is also other names, Yahweh. Um, but he is considered the source, okay? This is the one source, just the one creator all over, all right? Um, and other people have different names for him. So it's not necessarily just this particular religion or faith, okay? So there is one source. Now, they're simply saying here, trust in the one source source trust that god and the universe all the goodness that exists out there that they've got your back this is why they're telling you to trust them trust us we got this that's what they're saying improving health they definitely want you to start focusing on yourself literally i said that a few minutes ago it's important for you to start focusing on yourself on your health your mind body spirit because this person is so why shouldn't you? We also have here that there's going to be big, happy changes. There's going to be changes. They're going to be big and you're going to be happy about it. If you believe that this will happen, then you will be able to manifest this. However, keep in mind, Aquarius, there's a whole lot of changes that need to occur emotionally, physically, psychologically in this person. And that does not happen overnight. It's a complete personality change. And that might just take a year. It says here, a year from now. We also have, there will be a peaceful resolution. So for some of you, if you're hoping that, you know, will, will I ever get closure? Will this ever be resolved? Right? Um, yes, it can be. And I do recommend that you have a look. Um, you know, go back to this, this thought process that you have a year from now, see what it's like, contact this person, see if there can be a peaceful resolution. One of the issues is some of you might be trying to rush this, but as you saw, many of the cards were talking about this person not being able to connect with you because of their own personal issues. So the angels here are telling you it's not the right time, not right now, not right now, it will be a year from now or from now until the next 12 months. There will be changes. They'll be slow, but at least any change is good change. My dear Aquarius, that was your reading. It was very intense. I did feel a lot of energy in this one. It's um, a very complicated, the word I'm getting is complicated. It's a very complicated situation for some of you out there. Wow, let me know how this resonated with some of you. My goodness. This was a tough one. A lot of misleading. I'm getting the words misleading, misinterpreting, miscommunication. I'm also getting the strange word of misrepresentation. Okay. All right. Aquarius, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity and some guidance in your situation. Oh, and before I go, I wanted to mention that I will be adding some more videos on Asnoitia Audio, my other channel. Please do like, share, and subscribe to that channel too. Um, I was sick 
with another variant. Well, I only had one variant, but um, I was sick. So it just took forever for that congestion to go away. So now I do feel better and I can speak. Yay. Got my voice back. And I'm going to try to uh, pump out as many as I can. So hopefully you will be able to see more videos and the type of topic that I'm going to be focusing on for a while, um, it will be on relationships. So more relationship videos. And these are through my own personal experiences, but also um, what I have observed, the trends and the patterns with all of my clients. And it's not just the outside that I look at. I look at the feelings. So I will be able to tell you how certain people feel in certain situations. That is very helpful. I find that that type of a video would really help and I'm hoping to come up with that. So definitely stay tuned. Um, it will be out in a few days. So I would love for all of you to visit the other channel and perhaps um, let me know what you think of that video and if it will be um, insightful. I hope it will be. Um, I have a lot of notes, so it may be a little lengthy, but uh, let me know how it goes. All right. You all take care, stay safe, and thanks once again for supporting this channel and my work. Take care now. Bye.